Do you have a car? If yes, click the subscribe button now. Believe us, sooner or later you will need our help. We bet that you had to replace a burnt out headlight bulb at least one time in the past. Don't go to an expensive dealer for a simple bulb replacement. Subscribe to this channel and save time and money. Here you will find the best in the world information about halogen, xenon, and LED headlights. Based on more than 20 years experience, we will also show you how to troubleshoot and repair your headlights. Subscribe, camera, action, lights. Hi guys, today I will show you how to troubleshoot your BMW Z4, E85, E86 Xenon headlights. That's to say, the model produced between 2002 and 2008. If you have a low beam failure at your Z4 Xenon headlight, you should mainly check three parts for possible defects. These are your Xenon bulb, D2S type, your Xenon igniter, and your Xenon ballast unit. The Xenon system of the Z4 basically consists of these three parts. Let me show you how this system works in practice. As you can see, we have a fourth generation Hella Xenon system, our Xenon ballast, one of the most common ones, the Xenon igniter and the D2S Xenon bulb. So, if you have a low beam failure, it means that Putting aside the wiring issues, it means that one of these three parts is faulty. For starting with the troubleshooting steps, you need to do some works on your car. Good thing is that the BMW specialist has taken care of bulb and igniter replacement issue by providing a des practical design solution for it. If you are a bit handy, you can replace your xenon bulb or your xenon igniter for about 20 minutes. First, first of all, in order to have a greater space at your wheel well, you should turn your wheels upmost right or upmost left depending on which side you are working. Then, if you still feel uneasy, you can remove the wheels altogether. Then you have a you will have a really big space to work. Second, in order to gain an access to the back of your headlights, you have to remove the upper maintenance covers located at your wheel arches. Once removed the, these maintenance covers at the wheel arches, basically you will have an access to your back of your headlights. Then you should simply, simply remove the retaining spring of the back cover, headlight back cover. And then you will basically have a wide enough opening to work with the xenon igniter and the xenon bulb. Now we can proceed with the troubleshooting steps in case of a low beam failure. First of all, you should make a uh, sim simple xenon bulb swap. In order to do that, you have to remove the working xenon bulb from the working headlight uh, together with the igniter, of course. Just be careful not to mix up the igniters and the bulbs while you are making the troubleshooting. It's very important. As stated, first of all, you, you have to make a simple Xenon bulb swap. Take the working bulb from the working headlight and put it to the non-working headlight. First of all, before removing the igniter, you have to remove the plug, igniter plug. Then you should turn the counterclockwise the igniter and you will, you will get the igniter off. Then there are two clips one at each side, you have to release the xenon bulb, assuming that this is the faulty one. Just put the working bulb taken from the working headlight, lock it with the retaining springs, and then fit the igniter. The only thing that you have to pay attention is that these openings should be aligned with the inner circle. 
if they are not aligned correctly, you are risking to break your uh, xenon igniter. Once aligned, simply put the igniter back and lock it. The plug always should be put at the final stage. Now, if you check your low beam and if you don't have a low beam, then it means that you have to proceed with the igniter swap. You will remove again the igniter and take the working uh, igniter from the working side headlight and put, put it to the non-working one. Again, just observe, observe the openings, otherwise you are risking to break it. Once locked, just check, turn on the lights and check if you have a low beam. If you don't have a low beam, it means that the worst case scenario is at place. That's to say, you have to change your ballast unit. The ballast unit is located underneath the headlight, as you can see. That's why it's the worst case scenario. In order to replace the ballast unit, basically you have to remove the bumper altogether and the headlight itself as well for a safe replacement. That's all guys for the BMW Z4 Xenon headlight troubleshooting steps. Please subscribe to my channel. It will not cost anything, but will help me a lot to deliver such content to save you some time and money. All the best. Bye for now.